Hey Pam, so here's a simple idea for you. You had asked for thoughts on how to make it look like a clip art character is shivering. And on this slide, I've got a very nervous looking character. She's separate from her background. You'll notice if I move her around, the background stays put. So if your character has a background or if it's grouped with other things, you know, that might have come along with it, you'll want to separate the character from the background so that, you know, you can animate the character all by itself. What we're going to do is apply a motion path animation and then shrink it down real small so that the movement is kind of subtle. And to do that, we've got our character selected and we're going to come up here to the animations tab in PowerPoint. We're going to click this little arrow right here to get the drop down and right down here at the bottom, we've got this option called custom path and that's the one we want to choose. When you do that, you'll see that your cursor changes to this little crosshair icon and then you can draw the path that you want the animation to take. So I'm going to click right in the middle of my clip art character here and I'm going to hold my mouse button down and just do kind of this scribble motion here, kind of just go up and down several times. It doesn't have to be precise at all because this is going to be kind of a subtle movement when we're all done. I'm going to release right there about in the middle. And you can see initially the movement is going to look very dramatic as you just saw, but what we can do is zoom way in to get a real close look at that path and we can resize it. So I'm going to hold on my control key here and scroll my mouse wheel forward so that we can get a nice tight view of that motion path. And from here, we can select the motion path that's already selected now, and I'm going to just grab the corner here and resize it down to be about as small as PowerPoint lets us make it. You can see how tiny it gets. So I'm just kind of resizing this the same way that I would resize a shape or an object. The only difference here is that we're resizing the motion path instead, and then we'll scroll back out. So I'm going to hold down my control key and scroll my mouse wheel toward me to come back out to a wider view. Now once you've got your animation in place like this, you can sync your animation with your audio if you want because over here you can see how it defaults to being an on-click animations. So that means you can use Presenter's Sync Animations tool if you want. Or if you'd rather have the animation start right when the slide starts, you can come up here to this Start item right here and change this to With Previous. And that way the animation is going to begin as soon as the learner arrives at the slide. Another thing that you might want to consider is stretching the length of the animation out a little bit. You can see it defaults to a couple of seconds here, but if you want it to last a little longer, you can stretch this out a little bit. And you can play with what kind of time frame looks good for your situation. I made mine, I think, about almost five seconds here. So now if we come up to the Articulate tab, we can preview this. We'll preview this slide and see what this would look like once it's published. So there's our character, and you can see how she's kind of quaking or shivering. So I hope that that gives you maybe some ideas that you can run with. I'll go ahead and attach this file to the forum conversation and uh, looking forward to hearing what you do with this.